Hello. Today, I'm going to show you this integral question. It's from NIT's Integration B. It's the qualifying round in 2017, and it is question number four. So we're going to use biparts, but we're not going to use biparts on x cubed and e to the x squared. What we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this out. And very quickly, if we just differentiate e to the x squared, what we get is, well, we differentiate the, the power, so we get 2x. And then everything else stays the same, e to the x squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite our integral and basically look for this thing. So we can set this as our v dash. This will be our v then. And that's part of our integration by parts done. So what we can do is we can rewrite our integral and basically write this bit in there. We'll have 2x e to the x squared. And let's just think about what we need then to make the to complete our integrand from the thing that we started with. So we have 1x, so we need another 2x's, well, x squared. And we have a 2, so we need to also have a half to make that balance out. We can quickly just, if we want to, sort of think about this and just double check that it does equal what we started with, e to the x squared. So if we do this, the half and the 2 make a 1. The x squared and the x make x cubed. And our e to the x squared stays the same. So we've just verified that that is the same as what we started with, the thing up in our integrand up here. So let's use our biparts then. So what we said was our v dash is going to be 2x e to the x squared, which means our v then is going to be just e to the x squared. Very nice. Our u is going to be half x squared. And therefore our u dash, if we bring the 2 down, times it by the half, we get 1. Lower the power, we have just x left over. So therefore our integral is now going to be u times v. So it's a half of x squared e to the x squared minus the integral of u dash times v. So that's x e to the x squared with respect to x. And what we see then is our new integrand is very similar to what we sort of wanted up here. So all we're going to do is we're going to multiply that by 2 and multiply out the front by a half. So therefore when we integrate we know where this thing came from because what we did in the very top right up here is prove basically that the if we integrate 2x e to the x squared, then we should get e to the x squared out the other side. So let's compute that. Our half x squared e to the x squared just comes with us. And now we're going to have take away half of our integral, that which when we evaluate it, is just e to the x squared. We could have a plus c, but MIT integration questions, they don't care about the plus c, but there should be a plus c from here. And our last step then, we're just going to factorise everything out. So we'll have an e to the x squared and a half as well. And then what we need for the first term is just x squared. And for the second term is minus 1. So that's it. That's everything solved. Beautiful.